Right now, Milwaukee city leaders and police officials are giving an update on crime data from 2023. Mayor Cavalier Johnson is speaking now. Let's listen in. Not just last year, but in the years uh, prior to that as well. Uh, there's so much uh, that's going on, so many factors that affect uh, crime numbers, uh, stable housing, a strong economy, common sense when it comes to gun laws in our uh, state and in our country. They all play a role, and we're working on those issues. Uh, but to be clear, much of the efforts of city government is building a city that is safer, a city that is safer for uh, everyone. And a lot of attention has been focused on the number of homicides last year and the significant decline uh, in that category. Uh, of course, it's important to look at statistics, uh, and we all do, and we all uh, should continue to look at those so we can be informed about uh, where we're going. Uh, but it's also important uh, to look at the human impact, and the, the human impact is that fewer people uh, died. Uh, the human impact is that fewer families lost loved ones. The human impact is that the, the toil, the toll on humans was lower. So I want to build on that. As a matter of fact, all of us uh, want to build on that. I want 2024 to continue the positive trends uh, that we've been seeing. Uh, and we're working together, all of us, in order to reach uh, that goal. So in April, uh, Chief Norman, uh, Director Hamilton, and I will be back here to continue our focus on crime trends. Uh, is because all of us together and our partners who are not uh, in the room right now today uh, are, will we'll continue to work together to make progress uh, as we embrace the challenge to increase safety uh, in our community and make Milwaukee safer and safer. Uh, with that, I'm going to uh, ask Chief Norman to come to the mic. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning to everyone as well. The Milwaukee Police Department is committed to transparency and keeping our community informed. Today, I'm pleased to share with you our city's 2023 end of the year crime data. This data tracks part one crime through December 31st of 2023. You recall what the part one crimes are, as homicide, auto thefts, many of those larger serious crimes. MPD uses these regular updates to analyze our data and determine how we can best focus our efforts on what the numbers reflect. Overall, part one crime decreased by 9%. Repeat. Part one, part one crime decreased by 9%. Homicides for the period decreased 21%. Property crime has decreased 13%. And auto thefts have decreased 23%. I'm pleased to report out this data to you. The Market Police Department has put many initiatives in place that work to address crime. But let me be clear, whether the numbers are going up or going down, it's just not the work of the Market Police Department who makes that impact it is a work of our system partners to hold those accountable who cause harm to people or property. It is the work of nonprofit organizations who work tirelessly to address behavior and teach our youth to respect one another and not cause harm. It is the work of our entire community who will not and should not tolerate crime in their neighborhoods. And it is the work of parents and mentors to teach our youth to be kind respectful to their peers, their parents, their community. Although our numbers are down, firearm violence is still real concern in our city. Firearm violence continues to plague not just our city, but also our nation. It is these behaviors of those who choose to use firearms to cause harm that needs to continue to be a priority for our community and for our department. Continue to teach our youth positive So we've been listening to Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman there giving crime numbers from 2023. We do have a crew inside of that news conference right now with the chief as well as Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson. And we're going to have full coverage from that news conference starting on 12 News at 4. You can also find details on the 12 News mobile app.